In this tip for Enrolled Select Series 2, we're going to demonstrate two different things. One is dynamic updating of a surface. It eliminates the uh, process of having to re-display things after there's been an edit made. And secondly is going to be editing a feature point or a point in a DTM. In this case, we have an existing ground DTM here and we have an obvious um, error in here. It's actually a hole in this DTM. I edited this point, added 100 feet to it just to make it really pop out at us so we can see what's going on. So that's not correct. Now the first thing we're going to do is enable the dynamic updating of these graphics and you'll see how that comes into play after we make an edit. And I'm going to use the traditional inroads dialog box. We can still, uh, not still, we can obviously use the taskbar menu to accomplish the same things, but we'll stick with this because that's what most people are familiar with. A couple things have to happen here for the dynamic updates. I'm going to go to Tools and Application Add-ins. There's really two things that need to be enabled here for this dynamic updating to work. First of all, Update Design Add-in needs to be enabled and Variable Manager Add-in also needs to be enabled. Let's take a look at those two things. If I, once those are toggled on, I go back to Tools and Variable Manager. I, it's almost like a double switch. I have to turn on dynamic update of design graphics. That is turned on. And the other thing that we enabled, we'll find under Modeler, is this update design settings. We can toggle on the types of features that we want to automatically update if there's been a change, addition, modification to the surface or the features in that surface. And for right now, contours is all that's toggled on. So there's a number of things that we have to toggle on for that dynamic updating to automatically happen. So let's take a look at the second component of this, is editing a surface itself. We have a bogus elevation here. We're going to go ahead and make a change to that. So we're going to edit surface. We're going to edit a point of that surface. Everything in a surface is a feature. We have to identify which feature it's in. And in this case, I imported some ASCII files that contain spot elevations. Just this feature happens to exist in that first one I imported. And I'm also identifying which vertice or which spot elevation um, out of that 337 that I imported that I'm trying to edit. And I can see the northern easting elevation here. I'm just going to remove that extra 100 feet from this. I'm going to hit apply. I can see that edit happened. My um, surface already updated and redisplayed because of those dynamic settings. So that's two tips for uh, this month's Inroads Select Series 2 tip. Thank you for watching.